Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am doing a May and June favorites video today and I was not able to do a May favorites so I am combining the two together. I'm just super excited to talk about these products. I just can't believe how fast the year is going. Um, I can't believe it's already July. We're already more than halfway through the year and that's just super crazy to me. Um, but Nonetheless, we are going to trudge along through the years and uh, yeah, let's just talk about the products that we have here. If you want to see my favorites for May and June, then please continue watching. We are going to start with some skincare. Oh. So the first one I will mention is the Neogen Real Fresh Foam Green Tea Cleanser. So it looks like this. It is from Soko Glam. It is a Korean skincare website that they carry a lot of Korean skincare products. So what I really like about this product is that it has actual real fermented green tea leaves on the products. So as you can see, I don't know if you can even see, but at the very bottom of this, you have the green tea leaves down here, which is really good for your skin. Um, I really like this cleanser so much because it really, what like, just cleans everything off my face as somebody who uses makeup a lot like every single day besides some weekends um i really really need a good cleanser that will just clean everything off my face just makes it super super squeaky clean and i feel like this really does it for me it's a foaming cleanser and when i squeeze it in my the palm of my hand it just feels so so soft like clouds i don't even know how clouds feel like but that's how i think clouds feel like super super soft and i just rub it all over my face and i feel like it just cleans it so so well so i really really like that and i like to combine that with this time revolution the first treatment essence intensive moist from misha I heard of this brand Misha before um, and, uh, and they had really really good reviews this really just completes my skincare routine um, when I use this on my face I just feel like it just gives that extra cleanli cleanliness when I put a pad to my face with this product I feel like there's nothing on the pad at all if any very very little I really think that this product is super good together so I would definitely need to Go and buy some more. Um, so yeah, if you guys are looking for like a good toner, definitely pick up this one right here. And these two products are not too expensive. Well, I think this one might be a little bit pricey. The um, packaging is, of course, pretty bougie looking. So um, yeah, I think this one might be pricey. But this one is really effective and it's very affordable. So definitely check out Soko Glam. All right, moving on with skin. I have this... Cover FX Blurring Primer for you all. So I received this in my BoxyCharm and I really, really like it. Um, this is, has been my go-to primer every single day. As you can see, it is super used up and super flat. Um, so yeah, I feel like this one is so good at blurring out your skin. When I put it on my skin, I can definitely tell that it really makes my skin so, so smooth and foundation just goes on it so so smoothly so i really like this primer i'm about to get myself some more because i'm running out like all these products i'm running out because i just love them so so much and i just use it so much um so yeah this one is definitely a good one all right next one is also from cover fx and i just feel like i should mention this one and this is the dewy finish setting spray once kathleen talked about this how this one makes her skin looks super dewy and fresh. I just had to get my hand on it. I did spray on my face today, so I really hope my skin look a little bit dewy. It does make my face a little bit dewy, but I don't. I just feel like my skin doesn't get that dewy in general. I don't know. I'm I'm looking at the monitor and I feel like it's a little bit dewy today for sure. Um. So yeah, and it is all because of this product right here. It does keep my makeup on for the whole day, so I put it off to work and after I come back from work my makeup is still there after a long day it is a little bit um creasy but overall my makeup is still there and I feel like it really holds it and the spray for this one is so so cool like it's I don't know if you can see that but it's like a perfect spray I just love the way the spray the mist comes out from this nozzle 
Um, so yeah, this one is really nice. Continuing on with skin, I have the Jouer highlighter. I don't know why I talked about this highlighter in any favorites yet, but if I did, my apologies, but I'm going to mention it again. This is the Rose Quartz highlighter from Jouer. I do have it on my cheeks right now, so if you guys see this blending highlight, that is from Jouer. Um, and I just love Jouer's highlighter so, so much. I wish I could get my hands on all of them. Um, I do own Citrine, and I own this Rose Quartz now, and I feel like Jouer's powder are just so perfect. The highlighter is just so blinding and I feel like it's the the powder is so smooth and once you just put it on your face it just gives you that nice glowy look it's just such a good highlighting um, formula and this is the type of highlighter that I like next one I want to talk about are lashes and the lashes that I am wearing are house of lashes iconic light so these are the infamous iconic lights that Desi has been wearing and I really like them. They are not too dramatic or not too natural. Um, so I really like it. I really hope you guys can see that it's on my eyes. Um, yeah, so it's very light. Um, I also uh, bought the Iconics too, but I have not tried that one on yet. So I really don't know how it feels, but this one is definitely very comfortable to wear. And it's also affordable. It's like I like House of Lashes because it's super affordable. And yeah, it's really good quality lashes as well. I love the way it just comes. I just love the, you know, wispy lashes, the one where it's um, shorter in the front and then it just fans out towards the outer of my eyes. Um, and then I also have this one right here. These are the Morphe lashes in the style Chummy. These are their premium lashes and I just recently bought them, but I've already I'm so so in love with it. I did a tutorial using these lashes. I just love the way everything just is so wispy and it's just so so pretty. It's so super long but super comfortable to wear on the eyes. Sometimes some lashes are super long and it just I feel like it just weighs my eyes down. But that one I feel like it's still very comfortable to wear, but it's also very long and nice. But it's not too too long where you know it covers your eyes. It's just like the perfect length for lashes. So I've also been really enjoying that. But I talked about this in my BoxyCharm video because I did got this in my BoxyCharm. So this is the pretty vulgar eyeliner. Um, I have it on my eye right now. So um, I feel like it's such a good eyeliner. It's so pigmented. It's so black. Um, the only complaint I have is always been the packaging um, because it's super... Like, I just don't know why they created this packaging like this because it's just so, like, deep down there and I just, I can't really see where I'm poking at, especially when I'm trying to, like, put my brush in. Um, I mean, I could see if I look into the light. Nonetheless, I really like the formula of this um, gel liner. I have not used gel liner in a while, but I ran out of my Kat Von D um, eyeliner and I've just been using this one as a replacement and I've just been loving it so so much It's just so pigmented and it doesn't take me long to do my eyeliner at all with this So I've been really enjoying this the next ones are lipsticks So I want to talk about lipsticks. These are the Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipsticks that I bought from her Collection I've talked about this in my previous video Um, so if you guys have not checked that out I will leave the link below, so please check it out. I did a tutorial using the palette as well, which I will be mentioning right after this. But yes, I just want to mention these liquid lipsticks. I am wearing topless on my lips right now. It's just like a very nice pinky nude stick, and I really like that. So this one is topless. This is the topless one. And then we have Jaybird, which is also a favorite of mine. It's a much darker mauve tone. Um, liquid lipstick and then we have a lighter more brownish or lighter brownish beigey shade and this is in the shade Nikki Nikki. Um, I really do like the formula. I mean I feel like it's it is a little bit streakier on the lips but overall it's very comfortable on the lips so I feel like the streakiness of it makes the liquid lipstick not too drying so that's not bad at all and then i just love the smell of these lipsticks they just smell super super good very cute packaging and i just love the formula and the, the scent of it if you don't like liquid lipsticks with scents then this is definitely not the one for you but i would definitely recommend these liquid lipsticks especially if you have been dying to try them 
they are super good. Like I have mentioned earlier, the, of course, the Nudie Patootie palette is, of course, a favorite of mine. Just recently been using it, but I've been using it nonstop every single day. And if I don't mention it now, I was going to mention it in another video, another favorites video. Anyway, so I might as well just go ahead and mention it now. And I love the formula of this palette. I think it's super, super good. I do have it on my eyes right now. So I think it blends out so, so nice. It blends out like a dream. It's really, really good. I did a tutorial on this palette. So if you guys are interested in that, please check it out. The other one is from LMR Cosmetics. This palette is the Reina del Caribe palette. And just look at this gorgeousness. This is also a favorite of mine because the formula is super good on this one. Um, this is, I got this in a BoxyCharm and I'm super happy to get this because this is created by Gabby. She created her own makeup brand and this is the Almar Cosmetics and it's inspired by Cuban culture and I just love the way the um, eyeshadow blends. It's just so, so good. I also did a tutorial on this palette so if you guys are interested, please definitely check that one out as well. But these colors just drew me in. It's so, so pretty and these matte shades are so so good they also blend like a dream and they're so good so definitely check this one out and keep an eye out on Almar cosmetics because i'm pretty sure they're going to be coming out with some real good stuff the very last one of my favorites and these are the dose of colors block party or single eyeshadows I just love these shades so so much so this is the tell me more this is the nice bluish shade the one that was highly promoted on Dose of Colors is a website. Um, and then we also have Shall We Dance, which is a very nice pinky tone shimmery shade, which looks gorgeous on the eyes. I feel like these pigmentation are so, so good. I just use it with a brush or with my hands and it just looks so good on the eyes. So you guys should definitely check it out. I need to get more because I know they have so many more shades besides these ones but i just got these two first because um it's so so pretty and they are 20 20 dollars which i did mention about it being a little bit pricey um for just this tiny little eyeshadow but i think it's really really good if you are really invested in like good eyeshadows so i think they are worth it um, that is all that I have for my favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys are interested in any of these products, definitely check them out. These products are so, so good, and I highly recommend them all to you. Um, so yeah, please check them out if you are interested in them. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys like this video, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you all leave. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!